Steve here with STO Wildlife Calls. I uh, wanted to talk to you and show you some uh, different ways of maybe mounting your action camera to your shotgun and crossbow. I'm going to discuss the shotgun right now because I'm in the blind and that's what I have with me and then uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you my uh, setup for I'll show you my setup for uh, crossbow then uh, a little later in this video but with the shotgun a lot of fellas maybe want to mount depending what for if they have a scope on what for sights they have and so forth whether they can mount it on that scope I have a uh, quiver holder I was going to put that unit on would have stuck out the side over here and so forth but with my action cam there was a bicycle mount is what they called it and I changed the put machine screws in instead of having the units that they had had the black turn handle so you could turn them easy and so forth but they interfered with the scope this way it doesn't and I have the camera now mounted hanging on the bottom of my barrel so all I have to do is turn it on with this button when it comes up is hit the top button to record and as I move on the turkey the camera is right there too videoing I've tried it with uh, videoing using the headband uh, did it the other day had some good uh, pictures and when I really needed it thought I had it turned on thought I had it recording and had a gobbler coming in uh, I only had one decoy out had a gobbler coming in and so forth was really gobbling strutting and drumming uh, hopefully you know I'm there I'm going man this is going to be some nice video and so forth the bird was out uh, fairly far in the field but I think he would have uh, hopefully would have showed up and so forth but when I got back home and checked the card that part did not record I didn't hit the right button I either didn't have the camera turned on or didn't hit the record button which I thought I did so I'm guessing I did not have the camera turned on so I lost that footage I think it would have been good just to have it in to you know to have been able to show you but now I'll know because I'll be able to see that the camera is on because the lens part is on facing towards the back and if, if I have a bird coming in I will turn it on and uh, hopefully get some good footage and maybe a kill okay here's a little footage from my action camera just looking at the decoys out of the blind here for you to see what it how it looks like and stuff as I move my barrel and what have you okay as you can see as I move the shotgun uh, the camera is moving right with it uh, your view is what you see there having it mounted on the bottom of the shotgun barrel you can see a portion of my barrel that's actually the limb saver vibration uh, ring that I have on it but uh, won't hurt anything that's just because of the wide angle of the action camera shoots but uh, that would be your view and uh, would work great okay now we're going to show you about mounting your action cam 
Now, I'm using or shooting a Excalibur Matrix 355 cross barrel. It's a recurve. If you're shooting a compound, this might not work for you, cross barrel. With <clears throat> all the pulleys and cables and everything, uh, you might have to find a different mounting. But on mine, I have a Hawk scope. The only room are for the rings. I have no other room to mount my action camera onto the scope. I was going to use a off-brand quiver mount that would have mounted it, came out the side here underneath the scope and sat up here. The thing there is, with the wide view of action cameras, it showed everything in front of the scope. Showed my quiver, where I do mount my quiver, showed the limbs. Wouldn't have mattered, but I ended up was able to mount up here on the opposite side across from my quiver mount which I have on the left side in a hole that's in the uh, framework for the recurve. There was another hole on the right hand side and I just put one of the mountings for the action camera in there and mount the action camera right up front you see nothing of the crossbow than in your video. Like I said, doesn't matter. But for this particular case, all you're seeing is what's out front. And I'll show you, uh, you'll see a clip here coming up of the decoys. And that's all you see. And as the bow moves, so is the camera. And it pans right with it. So whatever you're if you're, you know, a gobbler or a deer, you're shooting at and so forth, it's going to be right where your crossbow is shooting. And it does not have any effect on sighting through your scope. You see right through it. They don't show up in the scope. There's no uh, problem with your sighting using your scope with that action camera mounted in the front here where it's at so like i said if you're shooting a crossbow that is a compound bow with the cables and pulleys you maybe the only place you're going to be able to mount that on that particular crossbow is on the scope or come up with another mounting system but on on the excaliburs you can mount that action camera up there at the limbs and uh, get a clear view of everything out in front of your bow. So watch this next little clip coming up. It'll show you the action camera on my Excalibur and the view you get with it. As you can see with the action cam mounted on the front of my Excalibur Matrix crossbow, uh, you have uh, an up front view. Uh, there's no obstructions of uh, the bow. You don't see anything from it or whatever. And it wouldn't have made any difference. But I like this view. And then you can see as I go pan from left to right and back that uh, you got uh, all your action. If you had a gobbler there you were going to shoot, it was going to be a good video for you. Okay, so there you saw two different video clips. One with the action camera mounted on the shotgun barrel underneath. And the last one was of the action camera mounted on my Excalibur Matrix 355 crossbow. So I hope the, this helps you in determining uh, for you to use an action camera on maybe videoing uh, your hunts and uh, hope this helps and uh, as always uh, click on our avatar on the uh, bottom of the screen it's a picture of uh, myself but that's the subscribe button also we'll list some uh, other videos that you can click on and watch 
and uh, hopefully give us a like, subscribe, leave comments, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. This is Steve with STO Wildlife Calls. Have a great day.